Hi guys, I'm Chris. Now, before I start on the video today, I always get a lot of questions whenever I make these about the uh, the posters up on the lockers. Is now, um, if you're uh, if you're interested, anyone's wondering what they are, first thing is to go ahead and uh, check out the um, or just hit on Google, look, search for uh, Hot Shots calendar. Um, it's the Edgar Brothers calendar they do it every year. Um, as you can see, really, really awesome uh, kit. Really hot wheels, really nice guns they put in these calendars. Um, profits go to the Health for Heroes. Can't recommend enough, really nice. I get, I've been buying them every year for the last at least three years, and I'll definitely be getting the one for, for 2013 even, so uh, I'm sure I'll check that out. That aside, video to, for today, what I'm going to be looking at is this thing here. This is the, uh, the Issue MTP grab bag, go bag, there's a lot of names for these floating around, um, this, like I say, this is a, it's a sort of, it's like an emergency, like you've got to go, you've got to run, you need to just grab some ammo and some supplies, this is the sort of bag that you're going to want when you're uh, deployed out of area. Again, you, you call them, you hear them called tactical bags, um, satchels, grab bag, go bag, tactical man bag, you know, whatever, but I mean, the, 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 the purpose of them at the end of the day is to be a grab or go um, bag, as in you've got to go, you need to just grab something, you're going to set this up to bug out or however, you know, however you want to phrase it. Um, this is, uh, this isn't actually mine, this is, uh, well, it was given to me just for doing this review by a friend of mine, he's, um, he's currently on leave, he was working security at the Olympics, uh, colleague that I work with uh, and he completed a tour of Afghanistan uh, just ooh, I think it was last year um, he was out there working on the Chinook uh, force Royal Air Force the uh, Chinooks out there um, at Bastion Kandahar and because he was part of the team if uh, if an airframe had gone down or if for some reason they needed people to go out there uh, and even though he is an armourer, same as me, um, they would have got someone there, they would have got him out there to either destroy a downed aircraft or possibly help out, you know, medical emergency, whatever it might be. So he had, a, he had one of these, this one was the one he used out there. And he just asked me, basically asked me to uh, take a look at it and uh, put up a review of it for, uh, for you guys. So, like I say, it's the, it's the issue um, bag made in the uh, multi-terrain pattern. That's the replacement for DPM, and um, we've got we're uh, currently in the process of switching. As you see, I just um, went down the stores a couple of weeks ago. Got all the new uniforms and the new uh, MTP, and obviously the Osprey armor carriers, all the helmet covers. We're all switching over from the DPM to the new pattern at the moment. Basic construction. It's all Cordura, a thousand denier. I mean, there isn't actually any labels on it, but I can tell that from looking at it. It's very solidly put together, um, stitching, double, triple stitch where it needs it. If you look, for example, on the edge of the pockets, it's all double stitched. Like you've got, um, these are frag grenade pouches, two of these on the side here. Nice and solidly stitched together, really thick, heavy nylon bonded thread, good stuff. Um, I'm not certain whether you can actually pick these up, uh, like at surplus stores yet, or how that works. You can probably get some on eBay, I'm sure, but there's loads and loads of other companies out there like 511 and well, I don't know. there's there's loads of, there's loads of them. loads of different like companies I'm sure Blackhawk and Warrior Assault Systems they probably make some if you check out UK Tactical uh, there's going to be loads of companies making these style of bags might not be exactly the same as this because it's the issue one but you'll be able to find uh, various other examples out there that you can pick up online like I say very well put together the main material is the thousand denier NTP Cordura. The rest of the um, the actual coloration, as you'll notice, the all the edging tape here, the webbing on the, the grab tags on the end of these pouches, the actual ITW hardware, the webbing that holds that on, the shoulder strap, all that stuff is it's an unusual color. It's a sort of it, the idea is it's a kind of grey. LaRue actually made some Magpul furniture in this same colour a while ago. They called it Urban Dark Earth. The idea being that if you're in the woods, it kind of looks green. If you're in the desert, it looks sort of tan, beigey sort of colour. It's, it's a, meant to be adaptable. Um, same as MTP. 
I think the main reason they've gone for this kind of adaptable colouring on all the other hardware and accessories and extra uh, edging ribbon and all that sort of stuff is that they haven't made actual MTP edging ribbon or webbing to use just yet, or they haven't at the time this bag was made anyway. Whether it works or not, mm, so, so so sometimes it seems to like if you sometimes if you put it down on uh, any sort of green surface, it does it does kind of it does kind of blend in. It's not bad. It, it, I think it would be better if they used actual MTP, but it's okay to the job. Basic features of it. Um, I mean, straight away you can see one, two, three magazine pouches. They're going to fit your uh, your M4 or AR15 family or your SA80 family, L85. Uh, weapons um, all those series magazines you're going to be able to get well let's, let's open one up as you can see you've got velcro closure you've got elastic to keep things uh, nice and cinched down I'd say you're going to get at least two magazines possibly three in each of those pouches so that's between six and nine magazines on the front there you're going to have a few magazines on your webbing but or on your Osprey even but if you were going to have to go outside the wire and you're not a and you're a guy like me, and you're not, you know, you're not, on, you're not infantry or marines or whatever. You're not going to have a load of magazines up on your armor, so you want to be able to just quickly grab more ammo. A couple of frag grenade pockets. They can obviously hold various other little bits of kit. Um, you're gonna, you want to be careful what you put in there because, as you can see, it wouldn't be too hard for stuff to come falling out. But um, just a uh, fast X buckle and the closure on both of them. Designed for a standard ball shape hand fragmentation grenade be able to get other small things smoke grenade pouch on this side same closure on there this one's got a more sort of a more of an all round covering lid to it small bit of elastic on the top there a little bit of webbing strap on the inside for retention velcro as well as the RTW buckle on there um, and that's all your, your pouches really it's like I say it's Meaning to grab a lot of extra ammo. There's one smoke, nine mags, two frags, if you were issued that sort of ammunition, of course. On the back, nothing much to see really, just plain MTP. Get a look a bit closer in. The actual lid, this is quite interesting. It's got, um, got a velcro all around the lid to get on the inside. There's nothing much in terms of storage arrangements I'd like to perhaps see some some internal pockets but uh, there isn't much to that which is um, the label there bag ammunition grab NTP well, the reason it says bag ammunition is that this is sized quite nicely what you could do is layer you can feed a belt and get a load of 556 or I mean you could get you could get linked 762 ball or one or four bit tracer in there, shouldn't be a problem. Get a, get a good, you get a good at least 200 rounds of 762, I'd say maybe even three to 400 rounds of 556 link into that. Or you could stuff more magazines inside, you could put water bottles, clothes, extra I mean, medical kit, actually anything. I mean, that's the whole thing with a grab bag. There's a good there's a good size space without it being too massive. As you can see, you can, you can get a small laptop in there, uh, maybe a tablet, computer, absolutely wide range of stuff. Uh, it's got a uh, nicely lined more cordura on the inside. So it'd perhaps be a little bit more useful if there was if it was more than just a plain empty space on the inside. Perhaps some small internal organisers, but you know. It, it, especially, I think a lot of people would probably u would use that for linked ammo. In which case, you're not really going to need much anyway. On that subject, because this is a sort of a high speed grab go bag thing, uh, you could use it actually also maybe perhaps as a dump bag because when you open up this flap on the lid here, you don't have to fully open the lid to access the contents. Just stick your hand in there. Easy as that. And that's good for obviously just dumping stuff inside or if you want quick access you just want to grab something specific out and you're you're running or um, you could be on an aircraft and you don't want things maybe falling out when you open the whole main compartment lid 
then you've just got that little extra, it's got the uh, elastic edge to it so that it can actually still be closed up like that quite easy to get through it when you want it. And that, that is a good design feature. Carry strap, the, the attachment for it is a little bit strange as you can see it's got um, it's got like a D-ring sewn on or looped on with a bit of webbing and then there's a, a tri-glide attached to the actual two inch strap and then well, what this does allow you is that you can just pull it, it's a little bit tricky, you wouldn't want to really do this in a hurry. What you can do is just angle that right and there you go, that comes out. So you can separate that and if you want it, you can obviously do the same, the same attachment system on the other side. So you can just take that, take that car strap right off if you needed to or wanted to for whatever reason, and then you've just got your bag just like that. Reattachment again, a little bit fiddly. You've got to be easier to do on a flat surface, in fairness. Just got to pass that through. I'm not sure why they went with that because they could have just put a nice big chunky Fastex buckle on there, but I think the idea is that you're not really going to actually be doing that. If you're either going to use it with the strap or not at all, so it's a little bit lower profile. Plus, you then don't have one of those big three prong like you don't have a a large version of that hanging off your uh, your bag when, when you're not using the strap. Looking on the inside, you've got your uh, sort of polythene, I'm not sure what plastic it is they use, but you've got your lining, same as on PLC webbing inside the grenade pouches. Same thing on the other side in the smoke grenade pouch. I'd say this thing's probably going to be pretty waterproof. Um, can't test it here, unfortunately. Not really, sort of just running it under the tap, but I can I can tell you pretty much with a fair amount of certainty that if I were to just run the tap straight onto there, the water's not going to get inside. And that's that's pretty much everything really. Um like I say, I just uh, I've been I've been luring the fish by a mate of mine I work with and um, he wanted me to go through it, go through the features of it. And it's a very handy bit of kit. I mean I like to try and review and give overviews on gear items that can be used for various different um, uh, different sort of walks of life. You know, the military is obviously the, the primary primary use of it. That's um, but whether you you police, whether you're going out hunting, I mean, you can do that in pretty much any country with the right licenses. Um, Airsofters, you can just stick your uh, your kit in there for the day. Put paintball hoppers in there, going out hiking up in the mountains, you got a bag there, going or just long walks or whatever, any sort of long outdoors activity, camping. A bag like that, it's just got a million and one uses, it really does. Um, so, whether you go for that particular issue one or you go for maybe a 511 or a Warrior or whatever, whichever brand you go for, there's plenty of options out there for these sort of go bags. Um, so, just, just think about it, think, you know, what. What kind of applications might you have for a bag like that? Think what you're going to store in it, all the different pouches, what sort of maybe food or hydration, ammunition, medical, whatever you're going to go with. Have a think through and um, you know, hopefully it'll enhance your uh, whatever your hobby is or activity or, or employment indeed. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching guys as always. I, I appreciate everyone that checks out the videos and I'll, uh, I'll see you next time.